<laughs> welcome, welcome everybody. Hello, hello. This is Ashkan. This is Derek. We got a slightly altered crew here in the DSP studios. Altered solution states. That's right. That's Graham right. is uh, Graham is over in Idaho for the moment for a couple of days, hanging out with his pops. Yep, so, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, I've dressed up Derek here to to look like Graham. Mm-hmm. Got my mustache kind of grown out. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, he's into it. Yeah. So, um, we got a we got a question. Do we? Have? Yeah. You're supposed to read them. I'm supposed to read them. Yeah. Hold on a second. We've got one, but really you have one. Okay. All right. The question is, hey, guys. Hey. 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 Why are most marketing strategies dependent on social media? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You, what like, is they shouldn't be? <laughs> no. But you do see, I mean, I get where they're coming from, right? right? Like you see so, so much about social media. Well, Facebook ads is the number one way people are drawing people to f- their float centers, according to the industry report. Right. So, so we see that, you know, and, and people say that all the time too. And when people try out other forms of, of advertising. I would say, you know, a good strategy will be integrated with both social media and offline procedures. But the reason that it's heavily weighted in the outward appearance is because that's the hot thing that people don't know how to do. So that's why they hire someone, right? (laughs) So it's like, I don't know Facebook ads or understand Facebook ads. So I'm going to Google somebody to help me with my Facebook ads. Now, if that person tried to respond back with more than just what the person was seeking, then it's going to be a miss on their part. Yeah. I mean, do you you still, you think it's fair to even call social media like the hot thing anymore? I would just call it a part of the thing, right? <laughs> it's, it's not going away as we have found. I mean, it's just going to evolve and change throughout time. And it's one of those things that you're really going to need to understand either to execute it yourself or hire somebody who can do it for you. So again, it's the thing that's new. And that's why I think a lot of people's awareness is kind of leaning towards social media. Every strategy that involves social media It's because before social media, People grew businesses various ways, and those have been established for minus twenty the past twenty years, right? Like the current twenty years in the internet phase, we've introduced all these different ways to market your business. But before then, there were so many different ways that we've kind of forgotten about, but are still pretty viable. And and that incorporates even like selling within your center and community building and print and branding flyers and brochures and throwing events and all of that has nothing to do with social media, but we kind of forgot about that. And the thing we want, the problem we want solved is social media. So that's why everybody's leading with it. Yeah, I guess it feels, I don't know, to me, it feels like a couple of things. One, one of them is that, uh, you know, it, in the age of internet advertisement for a, a localized business like a float center, Mm-hmm. Who's selling this service to a you know a geographic area? Like social media makes so much more sense than so many other things, right? right? Like you're not going to just be blasting ads out on the on the internet, right? Or you know, there's not like these these uh, communities. Even if you found like a floating specific forum, it's probably not worth your money to be like spending money on advertising for it in in the hopes that a certain subsection of those people are going to be geographically around you. Right. And see, social media just gives you the ability to do this kind of laser focus, like I'm going to spend my money showing ads to people with these certain interests in a certain mile radius of my location. Like you just don't have those tools with so much other internet well, and advertising. It's cheaper, right? And it's like, way cheaper because of that, right? To you're reach just... a thousand people on Facebook, it might be 10 to $20. To reach a thousand people on television, you're looking at a hundred. Yeah. So compared to all these other forms of advertising too, I mean, I mean, obviously with the internet, there's a whole much more sophisticated platform of advertising. And I think social media specifically within that is especially well suited to something like a float center. Right. As opposed to, I don't know, if we were selling like phone charger batteries or something way more generic that people could buy anywhere. Like, I'm not sure we would be, we would be at least thinking about things like putting ads on forums that have to do with electronics or, or other places that I just think like don't make any sense for float centers. Well, let's look at where the attention is, right? So if we're wondering why the attention on business growing strategies is heavily associated on social media, what are people tuning into more than anything else in today's day and age? We're checking our phone a hundred times an hour. 
right? So wouldn't you want to be in front of where the other people are checking? So I think that's why a lot of people lean on social media is because that's where just the eyeballs are. You know, even people are watching TV with their phone in their hand, still tweeting and Facebooking. (laughs) And then watching a video in their phone. I've done that. I mean, I know people who have done that. (laughs) <laughs> we edit that part I have not I swear watched videos while watching videos um, I feel like there's another part of this too where I, I when when this thing about why are so many marketing campaigns focused around social media in my mind I think a more appropriate like way of thinking about it or, or a statement that I would make is why are so many advertising campaigns focused around social media because I feel like I, I feel like there's a much bigger part of marketing that mm-hmm. if you think everything you're doing is dependent on social media, you are, I think, missing a lot about what you could be doing to market your float center. And, you know, if you listen to our podcast, you know where our opinions are coming from on this stuff. But like, you know, we think marketing is the quality of the floats you're doing and the experience mm-hmm. when people come in and, you know, how cushy your couches are and how nice your tea is. And uh, if you're, you know, how well you're talking to people and that, that whole experience of coming into flow, interacting with you, um, you know, having people go in and float and have good experiences and go tell their friends. To me, that's way more important than so like we could lose social media and we would still have this the foundation of our marketing which is providing good experiences and and having a reason for people to come and flow and spread that word against other people like to me that is that's so much more fundamental to what we're doing but the reason we lean heavier on the experience the person has is because you spend all this money on social media to bring them in and they have a bad experience that's a wasted money Right. Yeah. So (laughs) Um, again, that's why I say it's more of an integrated, like social media is not just the thing. It's a thing in a complete marketing program. So a good marketing solution would be to attract their attention on social media, get them to become either a lead through email acquisition or a client through scheduling a float. And then from there, you bring them into your offline world, right? You've captured their attention online where all their attention's at. And then you're able to cultivate the relationships, provide them a good experience, explain to them how important a membership is and how they can save money, and then getting their friends to refer. And guess what? It circles back to social media because now they're tweeting and Instagram and Facebook and that they're at your float center and it becomes this loop. You kind of have to prime the engine at the beginning of it to get those people aware yeah and i like i also feel like in defense of social media there's something nice about um you're defending social media i'm gonna defend social media for a second i I down social media in in defense of of the fact that so much advertising and stuff or people's focus is on social media in some ways i think it's it's kind of a nice improvement Mm -hmm. like the the content that companies put out on social media is in my mind, a lot nicer than billboards and stuff like that, right? Sometimes it's nicer than TV, which is why they're watching their phone instead of TV. (laughs) Like the social media, like it forces companies to put a more personal behind the scenes sort of face forward. Like if you're just using social media and blasting out like preformed ads on your pages and stuff like that, like people aren't going to really like to follow that. But if you're putting out like interesting content or letting people get to know you guys as people or the back end of your operations or, you know, keeping them in the loop on developments, like that's the stuff people are are interested in. Transparency is the best marketing. It builds trust and it gets people more comfortable to walk through your doors. So there's something nice about the fact that social media has forced a bunch of companies to be more transparent and more personal right. online. And then when they're not or they suck at it, people don't like those companies as much. Right. Like, exactly. like uh, to me, to me, there's something there's something positive to say about the impact of, of social media on advertising and just the, and just what it's forced companies to have to adapt to and and how much it is. It's more transparent where companies are douchebags now, which is which is also a nice benefit. Right. Unless you're the douchebag. Unless you're the douchebag. Yeah. And then it sucks for you. Yeah. Well, would you ever know? I guess you would just go out of business, huh? <laughs> And then blame um, something else. So we're getting into a very philosoph- philosophical oh, question at okay, that point. Fine. <laughs> if a douchebag was alone inside of a forest, does it make a noise? Um, so, <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I, I, to me, it's the the answer is it's not all about social media. There's a lot more about running your business that I would encourage people to think about as mm-hmm. marketing, and you know, and then it also is a lot about social media because it, it is a really well built platform to reach the people you're looking to reach, and it's a nicer way of connecting with people than blasting them with very generic ads. Well said, for somebody who doesn't use social media much. (laughs) Yeah, but I can sit back and ponder it from a a distance. That's true. Um, Okay, good. Feel good? I feel great. I feel really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure you Facebook, tweet, and Instagram (laughs) us all of your questions. Follow us on all of our social media platforms. 
Um, <laughs> or you can go to a website, I suppose. Yeah, old school. Yeah, www. Http colon slash slash www. That's right. That's right. Floattanksolutions.com slash podcast. Yes. That's it. That's where you can type in questions. Or social media. Say yeah, it. or just reach out to us on social media or send us a letter, you know? If you reach out to us on social media, I'm probably going to have to receive that and it's probably going to get answered. <laughs> yeah, just put up a billboard in front of yeah. our shop with your question on it and we'll, we'll answer it for that you. That might work too. That would definitely work. If someone actually does that, yeah, absolutely we'll answer your question. Direct mail. If somebody mails us a handwritten letter, we'll answer it that day. If someone tattoos their question on their body and flies here to show it to us, we'll answer your question twice in two different ways. How about that? That's too much. Okay, it's too much. All right, we got to go. All right, bye.